I'm Jackie. And I'm Ashley. Welcome to The Witching Hour. Yes. The Witching Hour is a little extension of the Dumb Witch Club. Mm -hmm. We give you a big topic, we condense it down into little bite-sized pieces, and we have some wine, and we chat. Sounds perfect. Let's get started. (laughs) With no further ado. Let's pour the wine. This is called Sun Pop. I needed a pop of sun. I know, because it got cold again. I know. Outside. Why did that happen? The weather. I don't know. But it says Tropical Moscato here, which... Let's give it a little sip and see how we like it. Let's do it. It's going to be sweet. Oh my gosh, I can smell it. It smells like pineapple. Oh, I love that. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's very sweet. Well, I mean, it's Moscato. It's a Moscato, so it is a bit sweet. It's got... Almost like that butteriness that like Chardonnay almost starts to have, like it's a richer, like a heavier yeah. body than I like, like it. than like a Sauvignon Blanc. It is tropical though. It is. I feel like it, it tastes it, like pineapple, like guava. Yeah, like guava. You're right. Okay, the here truth here. Um, let's see. It's not cheese this uh, time. No, trop- notes of melon and pineapple. Well, that's all it says. Pop open a bottle, pour a glass, and enjoy some fun in the sun. Okay, well, whatever. Well, we would love to enjoy some fun in the sun. However, sun pop. But listen, it does say semi-sweet wine, and I would agree with that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I, I know. Also, bring the sun, and then we will do that. Please. And I feel it's like really if this were like very, very chilled in like mm. a bucket of ice, like by a pool, yes. it would be like even better. A hundred percent. I wouldn't typically buy a Moscato. But this is very good, and it's I would like good. to drink it by the pool. So, I like it. Palm Springs, here we come. Okay, what are we talking about in this episode? We are talking about the void of course moon. Of course, we're of talking course about we the are. void of course moon. <laughs> that used to be so confusing when I would hear it, honestly. <clears throat> I know. I'd me be too. like, it's void of course. Like, what do you mean of course? I know. I know. Like, because of course it happens, I don't get it. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. So yeah, so but that's not really what it is, right? No, it's not what, what it is. What does it mean? What is happening when okay. the moon is void, of course? So what it means is after the moon makes its kind of final aspect in its cycle, right? In her cycle, after leaving the sign that she's in, mm-hmm. but before she gets to the next one, there's this like little period where she's just kind of like there. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. It's exactly right. Uh-huh. And in between. Yes, in between. And so she's kind of just not really moving. And mm-hmm. this time period um, can vary in length. Yes. So sometimes it can be brief, like an, yeah. an hour or even less than an hour. Yeah, like a I few think. minutes. Uh-huh. Yeah, but uh, other times it can be like four, five, six hours. Yeah. Um, so it really depends. And so you can look up easily a, a moon report for the week and look these up. You can find them um you know, whatever the days are that she's changing between signs, yeah. there will be a void, of course, period. Yeah. So, um, but what that does mean is if you're born during one of those periods, I mean, that might be really interesting to know, but you're kind of just going to be assigned the moon in the sign previous because it hasn't mm-hmm. entered into this next sign mm-hmm. officially. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it'd be interesting to know if you were actually born during a void, of course, moon period. It would. I didn't even think about I that. I know. That's I haven't good. even Look it up. thought of you looking were. it up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, um... So what happens during this time? Not so in the sky, but with <laughs> with us. Yeah, it's a good question because people wonder, well, like, well, what does it mean? What am I supposed to do? And, you know, we have been talking about the moon phases and sort of yeah. what they are and what to do during them or how to think about them. Um, and so if you haven't watched those episodes, it's worth going back and watching them, um, witching hour on the moon phases. Um But in those, we talk, okay, like, what do we do? So this is something that people have a lot of questions about because at first they don't understand it. And then it seems kind of scary because it's like, well, it's just in between, like, doing what? Like, what do I do? Do I do anything? And it's like, match the energy. Just match the energy. Don't don't do much. Mm -hmm. Just chill. Just relax. Yeah, so Let it's, it be. yeah, it's a time to really just rest and have downtime. You can reflect and think about yeah. things. Um, that's useful. Mm-hmm. But it's not really the time to like do a spell. No. Or um, even, you know, thinking in terms of like if you have um, important meetings scheduled um, during the void, of course, moon, probably nothing will get decided. Yeah. It doesn't mean like you shouldn't meet, like don't have a meeting or don't make a decision. 
but it just might be like doesn't come to anything. Yeah, because, might not stick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You mm-hmm. know, so just to kind of not even be aware in a negative way, but just be aware. Mm-hmm. Um, or if you find you know that you're noticing a pattern with something, just maybe go back and check that out and yeah, see. Yeah, totally. And yeah, you might not even be aware of this happening because, like Jackie said. It's minutes of time sometimes. Sometimes it's up to a day, but usually it's just kind of minutes, hours. Mm -hmm. So you're not even going to know this is going on. Sometimes you might sense it and you might feel a little off. Um, That could be a million other things, okay? But it might be this and it might feel a little off. And if it does, you know, just just kind of write it out. Do the self-care things that you know to do when you're feeling that way. And just kind of write it out. Most of the time you're going to be probably pretty unaware of this unless you are planning a big sort of meeting event yes conceptualization thing you need to do then you might want to look and just make sure that it's not occurring during that time if you can avoid it yeah no exactly so i think again like as usual knowledge is power trying to be aware um yeah when even, you can yeah i mean you're a dumb witch you know we're dumb witches we're, dumb witches. we're often not aware but if the more aware you can be the better <laughs> All right, I guess that's, that's all it. I, have. I know, me too. Let's drink more wine. I know. So good. Cheers.